Baker, check this out, okay? Mado King Grenzor for the super graphics. It's uh, it's only available in Japan. I got it in Akihabara. It's 20 years old, it's still sealed. Got the shrink wrap on it and everything. Is that crazy? Sweet. I know, right? Well, I got my lucky butter knife right here. Let's crack this what bitch you, open. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, hi. The Super Graphics was a uh, video game system only released in Japan during the 16-bit era. As you might be able to tell from its name, it has a lot of relation to the Turbo Graphics. In fact, the Super Graphics is a Turbo Graphics 16 with some extra RAM and another video processing chip giving it upgraded graphics power. But that's about it. Consumers didn't really know whether it was a new system or an old system with better graphics, and so nobody really bought it. And they only actually ever made five games for the system. So Baker and I are going to sit down and play them all. Okay, here's here's Battle Ace, all right? This is the one Super Graphics game that everybody has because it's cheap as hell. This costs like $8. You go to the technological mecca of Japan and this is what you buy? That's $8 you would have been better spent on the lunch in a maid cafe. Uh, graphics, not so super. This is probably the one console that makes Atari Jaguar and 3DO fans feel like they made a wise investment. Okay, so you're flying around in 3D, sort of, and oh, if you get hit once, you die. And you die, and you die, and you die. <laughs> this is the most awkward, drawn-out death sequence since Sofia Coppola in Godfather 3. So basically, the Super Graphics was NEC's attempt to play catch up with the Genesis and the Super Nintendo, which could both very easily do a game like this standing on their heads. And I missed out on the 16 bit era the first time around. Now I feel like a lucky SOB. Hey, it's Dai Makai Mura, also known as Ghosts and Goblins, or uh, possibly Ghouls and Ghosts. I can never actually remember which. Uh, luckily, I can never get past the first stage, so it doesn't matter. Ready, go! Uh, and are there a limited number of these? Of Super Graphics games? Yes, there's no, five. No, I mean these skeletons in dresses that uh, keep trying uh, to no, attack you're, me. No, you're going to actually have to move eventually. You're going to have to walk. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this cost me uh, 40 bucks. That was a wise investment. Thank For you. $40 you could have spent on a trip to the Bondi Robot Museum. Oh, well. At least this game is actually fun. I, I mean, but how is this different from the Super Nintendo version? Uh, about the same. You know, one of the things the Super Graphics could do, as you can see, is have those multiple layers of uh, backgrounds that are sort of scrolling independently of each other. An, an underwear dude here. What's his name? Uh, that's Arthur. Arthur. He gets hit and he's stripped to his underwear. Yep. Yep. Uh, I wonder if there's any fanfic about him. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't say that. Don't send us any. No links, please. Hey, look, it's Motto King Granzar. That's the game that you ruthlessly and brazenly plundered its maiden head not so long ago with your butter knife. Th thank you for conjuring that, that image in my head. Oh, man, this is some serious magic. This reminds me of the opening to every public access show ever. The wavy. It's wavy. Whoa. Okay. Well, we're in the game now, and apparently they've used up all the super graphics on the title screen, because I'm not really seeing any super graphics in here. These graphics are not only not super, they're not even turbo. This uh, was based on an anime series that I think ran for about the same span of time as the super graphics was on store shelves, so like a year and a half. Okay, so robot walking left, swinging his little sword. I. I think I can understand why this anime did not become the next Dragon Ball. On this episode of Mado King Grand Sword, Robot walks to the left and swings his sword. Tune in next time. Man, you're this giant robot and you're swinging this ridiculous little sword. It is what What did you pay for this one? Oh God, uh, $35. And you don't feel bad that you didn't spend that $35 on, on 35 capsule toys or something? Uh, no, I feel bad that I didn't spend it on 
three plates of curry. So you have to understand that uh, at the time, probably a, a lot of people actually bought this because the, the, the Turbo Graphics was pretty popular in Japan. It had been out since 1987 and was a very clear improvement in graphics over the 8-bit Nintendo. And uh, they, they weren't in first place, but NEC was a solid number two. I would describe this game as a solid number two. All dines. Before you ask, Baker, this cost me $50. $50 you could have spent on, uh, on a video game you might actually play again someday. <sighs> yeah. Well, this game, uh, wow, 2020 AD. This game takes place 12 years from now. Oh, man. Look at that independently scrolling background. Okay, we get it. But I guess uh, scrolling backgrounds really were like serious Matrixy Pixar shit at the time. So, uh, what's, what's going on here? Alien invasion, dude. Maybe the aliens invaded because they're insanely jealous of the Earth's scrolling background technology. All right, let's, uh, man, man. Super graphics is hard. You die in one hit on like every game, except ghouls and goblins where you die in two hits. I mean, the hell kind of a video game system is that when the easiest, most forgiving game is ghouls and goblins? And I'd just like to remind everyone that you spent actual physical money on this, like not Linden dollars or World of Warcraft gold, real money. Actual cash, and the, you know, the, the yen was rising against the dollar at the time. I'm broke. Holy crap, what is this? Well, I think the feds are at the door. Oh man, we are in deep sheep dip right now. We are violating all kinds of copyright and or facing severe penalties. Severe penalty, yeah. Severe penalty like make you play that Motto King Gronzort game or something. No. All right, 1941, counterattack. This is the most expensive super graphics game. It cost me $100, which was actually a good deal. Wait a minute, 1941 came out on like every other video game system back then. Was this like the ultimate super best version or something? <sighs> For $100, it damn well better be. Man, I am a weapon of mass destruction. With planes that could do this, I don't know how the war in the Pacific lasted so long. Wait, do you, do you actually have a, a life bar? I do. I can take hits and not die instantly, which is good because there are more sprites here than a Coca-Cola bottling plant. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, no, See there? That yeah. is not. No, uh, that's not good. You know, sorry. Capcom made this game and Ghouls and Ghosts, which means they're responsible for a full two fifths of the Super Graphics library. Capcom actually throws a lot of support behind a lot of failed systems. You know, Saturn, GameCube, PSP. This is actually the best game on the Super Graphics, which is really sad because you can get it on Capcom Classics Collection for PS2 for like $20 instead of the $100 you blew on it, which is $100 that you didn't spend on like half a dozen Dreamcasts and a Glaze CD. I should not be given money. Kohler, what gives? I'm not great at math, but you said there were like only five super graphics games. What's this? Oh, well, uh, this is a PC Engine game that features upgraded graphics when you play it on the Super Graphics. Darius Plus. Yeah, actually, I learned from the box that it's pronounced Darius, not Darius. I don't, I don't know why. Hey, multiple scrolling backgrounds, man. Just think, wow. if, you, if you played it on Turbo Graphics, it wouldn't look this good. And not even look... Oh, man, this art hurts my eyes. That's the worst explosion ever. It's smaller than the ship. What is it with home games that have you put initials in for a high score? It's your game. It's in your house. Oh, put in ass. There we go. Stick it to the man. I, but I am the man. It's my game. Man, I'd ask you to tell me what kind of obsessive nerd would actually buy the super graphics and all the games, but... You did it. You can't psychoanalyze yourself. Your, your archive is now complete. You've, you've won the game of life. Congratulations. Why do I feel so empty? 